That is our big story tonight at 10, Hoping for Freedom. The two girls accused of trying to kill their friend who pleased the fictional character Slender Man have a new plan to get out of custody. And one of those plans is asking the court to let her stay with her grandfather, a retired police chief. Ben Handelman with the motive behind that request. It's the case that has captured national attention. Anissa Wire and Morgan Geiser are accused of stabbing their friend 19 times and leaving her for dead in 2014 all to appease the fictional character Slender Man. The girls who were 12 at the time are being tried in adult court. On Wednesday, Fox 6 News has learned there are new attempts to get the girls out of custody as they await trial. An attorney for Morgan Geyser filed this letter with the court this week. Geyser's psychologist is expected to testify Friday. The girl is at a critical juncture in her development. She continues to believe that she has an ongoing relationships with several uh, characters from the Harry Potter book who come and visit her. That was a psychiatrist last summer. Her attorney argues Geyser is now doing better. She was moved out of the Winnebago Mental Health Institute last month and into a juvenile facility. Her attorney argues Geyser has been stabilized but runs the risk of becoming institutionalized and would benefit from being placed in a nurturing pro-social setting. Their plan? Let Geyser live with her grandfather in Manitowoc County. Her grandpa is a retired police chief in New Holstein. After serving nearly 40 years on the department, Geiser's attorney argues by fostering rather than hindering Morgan's placement in the family support system, Morgan's psychiatric stability will almost surely continue to improve. 13 and 14 years old, Anissa Wire's attorney has filed a separate plan to get her out of custody. We haven't seen that yet, so Friday will be a very big day in court. Ted.